Oh, a warm welcome back on the AM show. Thank you for staying. It's time now for AM business. Women are leading in the production of electrical cables for the electricity company of Ghana, CEO of Reroy Cable, the only woman-led cable manufacturing company in the country, is also recruiting wi women engineers, I should say, to replicate herself. Odilia Ntiamwa spoke with the team and has more. again on Reroy Cable and the reason is simple. I'm taking a look at companies that are actually trying to breach the gap when it comes to SDG goals. Reroy Cable has decided to employ women engineers. So far they have about 10 of them on the factory floor and I'm here to throw my lenses on these women and see how they are doing. Currently, we have less than 10% of the engineering field occupied by women. And this woman wants to change the narrative. Brick and mortar today, our focus or our lenses are on some over 10 women working at various ports of Reroy Cable. My name is Kate Kwati Papafio. I'm the CEO of the Reroy Group of Companies. Yes, I noticed that I mean the gap in our business in terms of uh, the gender balance. I mean the gap is just too wide. And looking at it, I thought that, that well, this is the time that we have to empower young women to get into the industry, to train them to be part of the existing system. Because when you look at it, it's mainly male-dominated industry. And I'm looking at it from a point that we have to employ more women and train them to be marketable. I'm Grace Tetefio. I studied electrical engineering at Adan Technical Institute for three years, after which I studied um, solar, uh, basic and AC coupled with um, air conditioning powered by solar, after which I studied um, refrigeration and air conditioning for three months. So during my final uh, month at uh, Don Bosco Technical Institute during the, like the study of uh, air conditioning and refrigeration, I was recommended to Reroy uh, Cables, where I'm currently working now. I've been here for, this is the fourth month, and it's really interesting. My department, um, uh, I'm the only lady over there, and that is what I like most, to be the only lady among the men. All my, all my, during all my studies, I was the only lady among the men all the time, so it is fun for me. Nobody bullies me. Um, they always teach me, they're always, they always ready to help me. So that is why I love it most, uh, to do the engineering. In the industry where we are with men dominated, the fact that you are able to meet people's needs makes you happy. It makes you feel part of the economy. It makes you feel part of movement. We went and bought some from the market and we realized that we weren't having the whole complete set of uh, cables that we actually would give us what we were looking for. So we decided to bring, to import the cables ourselves. We decided to import more. We sold some, we used some, and other people were also just also pressing where we got them. And so we started by importing. Eventually, we decided to actually add value because people were looking for different types of cables. 
So that actually also triggers us to say that, well, if we, people are asking of different type of cables, why don't we add value by bringing in semi-finished? So that is where we started with machineries to bring in the semi-finished to add value and to research about how we can expand the scope of cables in the industry. I'm at the quality control department and we generally uh, carry out tests on all the products. So anytime they have any, any production on whether 2.5, 1.5, any cable side that they are producing, we carry in-process tests and final tests. So if during the in-process test there's uh, non-conformity, we have to prompt production. That is, we do the test during production, we don't do it after production. So during production, at the beginning, early beginning of the production, when the uh, test is carried out and there's some little problems, we prompt them for rectification, yes. I'm Beauty Jodredi. I went to Tema Technical Institute and I offered automobile engineering. I, I love the course engineering because I wanted to be an engineer in the near future. So that's why I ventured into engineering. My work here is to produce wires for the ECG to use. So as you can see the process, we have um, different types of cables that we produce here. So here at the moment we are doing 120 mm. The 120, we have the inner core which is made up of seven wires the, and the outer core which is made up of 12 wires. In all we have 19 wires making 120 mm cable. Before we start the process, the whole process, the quality control personnel will come, check whether all the cables are up to standard before we can proceed. It's really a great opportunity for me because I've, I've no, uh, it's like, I don't have much knowledge about cables and all sort of stuff, but as times go on during this work, I'm able to know the type of cables being used in the domestic works and all sort of stuff. It's, it's my dream to work in a company like this, which is really good, yeah. First and foremost, I have to tidy up the compound and then check the work order what we're supposed to produce in the day. Like when it is uh, two, we're supposed to produce 1.5 or 2.5. They give us the target to produce. So one drum have to be forward, uh, like one drum contain like, have to produce a uh, thousand meters. And at least uh, in a day, we have to produce about two, uh, two, 25,000 meters in a day. But Sometimes we're not able to hit the target. Uh, we produced um, domestic cables, like 1.5, 2.5, and whenever, uh, whenever we're going to produce product, uh, we're going to produce a product. We have to call the QC members to come and check the type of wires we're supposed to use, like uh, 1.5 or 2.5. 2.5 is supposed to used. One, di one diameter of a wire is 0 0.67, that's for 2.5. And seven wires have been strand. Yeah, 
and also after the production is being done, you should have to come around and check the lay lens and then the diameter is being used in the production field. It's a very important part for Railroy to do this. Um, first of all, it's a global requirement for women to be empowered. Secondly, you know that the, um, the forebearer of the company, it's a woman and had been championing the things that men used to dominate in for many years till today. And so she finds it very passionate to develop women to follow after her. And we can't do anything otherwise than to continue doing this. And it's showing results, actually. Working with ladies gives you um, um, credibility to a very great extent. Um, they give you the facts of the feedback, the results. If you want to know the truth about anything, it's the ladies you have to talk to. If you want to be very sure, the minute of figures, you have to talk to the ladies. They won't compromise. They never get tired. And it's good. Normally, people look for many reasons, mood swings and other things. But thankfully, the women we have are very passionate for the job. And so they only follow after the job. We never see any issue with them at all. In the laboratory, for instance, we position one of them and she quickly learns the process and she does it all, right from before production tests and then also during production tests and after production tests. Um, they are able to do everything and you get all the figures and results exactly the way it's practically reflected. If the figures fall out of the standard, they reject it and you get the information exactly the way it is, very credible. We've also positioned some of the women on the stranding part of the job which is very critical. Um, such areas are areas that the company can lose a lot of material because if the stranding process is not well done, either the cable will be, will be on, on, on tied in the course of the usage, and then it will be a return job as a non-conformity to the company. So we are very careful about that. The other way around is that the cable will be so much cold, which means that we're putting too much material than needed and it's all a cost to the company. So these two critical areas, we have the ladies at the moment, and they are doing very well. Um, we've had about 10 ladies working practically on the shop floor. We still have about four ladies in the sales office, and we have two more at the administration um, so I think in all, we have about 16 ladies in the factory. But the real factory activities, it's made up of 10 ladies. In the engineering sector, when you look at it, the gap is just fast. And we are looking at it from a point that in about five years from now, if all goes well, in about five years, we want to employ at least about 10,000, if not even more, to train more women across the region that women can get into the engineering space, especially to do with uh, the electricians, the young women coming up, to train them properly to take up the job and to really match the men as well. I hope you understand. It's a very, very basic. This is just the way it works. Not complex at all. And so there is a way to express a quality of a cable by this property. If a cable is not of a good property, what it means is that a cable wouldn't conduct well. If the cable is not able to conduct well, it means that it is not good enough. And so that is what we mean by the conductivity. Now, there is a linear resistance written by each side. That is ability to conduct or by its linear resistance, which means how much resistance is in the cable, how much that the cable is not suitable to be used. That is what it means by the resistance. Hey, 
Here we do stranding. First, these are the spools. The spools will be loaded onto the rotation axis, which the quality control uh, personnel must come check whether it is up to standard so that we can run it. If not, it will be scrapped and it's a waste of material. So after it is loaded onto the rotation axis, it passes through the nipple. A required nipple should be used so that it will meet the standard or what we are asked to do. So we look onto the work order form. We have a, a work order that we, you must first check that before you start your work so that you know what you are doing. So with that, after it is loaded, we run through the nipple. The nipple, we have the inner core and then the outer wires. So the outer wires are 12, the inner core is 7, making 19 wires, which will, be, which will sum up to 120 mm conductor. That is the required um, conductor that we are supposed to do. First thing is the mindset. Um, you know that right from our cultural evolution, um, everybody else think that ladies should be far off certain kind of jobs. But here we are, we can practically testify. They are doing everything that the men are doing. So once we are able to develop the mindset that the ladies are capable of doing what the men do, it's a first step one. The second thing is that make sure that they have the requisite background. Then you can't put a round peg in a square hole. It's not possible. And so if you want the people to have the basic engineering knowledge, they should come in with it. Once they have it, you only have to organize a proper orientation program and take them through one by one by one. With ladies, if you teach them bad things, they'll give you back the bad things. If you teach them the good things right from onset, precision, they'll follow just that. If you let them know not to compromise on anything, not to mingle figures, nothing, they will just do that and they will continue to be like that. That's what I have realized to be the case. Other factories can emulate this and they will realize that it's equally good working with the ladies as working with the men. All right, that's uh, it for AM Business today here on the AM Show. Indeed, this week is brought to us KETC Ecobank, the Pan-African Bank. Make a date with the business team next Wednesday.